So, Mr. Carl, welcome to. We have been for in there for almost three weeks or four weeks back. No, no, no. like seven, uh, seven weeks now. Seven weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing in there, Islam? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make music. Yeah. I'm trying to you know get into the music scene here. Okay. And try to. Um, the thing is that you know there's a lot of interesting things going on in the music industry here and I'm trying to mm -hmm. see if I can somehow create a bridge between the industry here and the industry in in uh, the western world. Okay. Uh, okay. So you are from Norway. I'm from Norway. Yeah. What do you what do you do in Norway? Uh, I'm a pr producer. Okay. So I've been a producer for a long time and yeah, it's been it's been my thing. I've been doing a lot of different styles. I've been doing hip hop. Uh, I've been doing uh, electronica. I've been doing normal pop. If, if you go way back, I even used to do some rock. Okay. Uh, and lately, I've been doing a lot of um, reggae and dancehall. Okay. But now I'm trying to to you know study the African style of music. Okay. So, what what is your biggest achievement in Norway in your career? Well, I, I think the biggest achievement is 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 making reggae popular, reggae and dancehall popular. Because um, you know, if you go like five six years ago, there was no uh, reggae artists uh, that were known in in in, um, in uh, Norway. But um, in 2014, uh, we had like the biggest hits, like the, we won a Grammy for Hit of the Year. You won a Grammy? Uh, Grammy, yeah, or oh, my artist won, a Grammy, artist won yeah, a Grammy. won a Grammy for, for Hit of the Year, so we had like the biggest song, and that was a reggae song. Okay. So, so uh, that's... And you were the producer? I was the producer. Everything? Yeah. Okay. Everything. What's the name of the group? Uh, well, that is called Nikodi and Admiral P, is okay. the name of those guys. Okay, yeah. and the song? It was uh, Engel. Angel, Angel yeah. which means uh, angel. angel, angel, my <laughs> angel. <yeah. laughs> okay, that's, that's uh, congratulations. Right? Well, thank you. Yeah. So, mm. so that's that's kind of my thing. You know, I, I like the challenges, and I like to to like I said, try to create bridges. For example, this thing with with reggae music. You know, like I was working with hip hop, and and I. I saw the direction hip hop was going, and yeah. like some of the same things you can say, like in the, in the, in the U United States as well. You yeah. know that mm -hmm. you know hip hop is changing. Yeah. You know, and some people like it, some people don't like. Yes. You know the the new trends, and and uh, in no way I I, I felt uh, I don't know I was just. I wasn't too comfortable with the way, <laughs> the new sound, the, yeah. yeah, yeah, how <laughs> everything, you know, the eyes were changing, you know, yeah. the whole thing was changing. So, so, so I, I needed to do something fresh. Okay. So I started to go to Jamaica and 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 uh, study reggae music. So that's like kind of the thing, same thing I'm trying to do now, going to Africa and trying mm -hmm. to to understand how you make music here, how the artists uh, do their songs, and and try to, you know. Not copy what you do here, but try to contribute and yeah. try to change it in a little bit. Because when I was taking, you know, when reggae, reggae w wasn't big in in, in Norway, uh, a lot because you know a lot of people they didn't really uh, identify with the sound. Everybody likes Bob Marley. Everybody you know heard a reggae song or two, but it's not like. Uh, it's not like they they Google and 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 search up the the, the newest Jamaican music because yes. in Jamaica they make a lot of music. Yeah. So what you always need to do is you need to change it a little bit, you know, to create a little bit different sound like a Muzungu friendly yeah. uh, <laughs> version of it, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you accomplished that by making that hit. Yeah, we more. had several hits. Yes, several. So hits. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot yeah. of hits. Okay. So, so, mm -hmm. so, uh, definitely established uh, mm -hmm. reggae as a, as a popular genre in in Africa. Now in Africa, in Norway. In, in Norway in is Norway. it now uh, uh, still popular? It's yeah, it's still popular. It's still popular. Yeah, okay. uh, it's still popular. So it's mm -hmm. it's you know it, it, you know when you I would say that like um, some of the songs are have become like classics. Okay. So you know they. Will, they always be popular. Yes. So so yes. yeah, like even I heard now that you know, being people are seeing you know, the, it's starting to some of the songs are starting to enter you know, the schools. Yeah. Children you know, sing the songs. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, see some videos and stuff. Yeah. So it's mm. it's still there. So it, that that one is established. That's like mission accomplished. Yes. So now I'll, I need a new challenge. Yeah, so yeah. that's why I'm here. 
So you own a studio in Norway? Yeah. How do you work? Yeah, I, I have a studio in Norway um, mm. w where I work, but I I, I do I'm I'm, I'm I'm traveling a lot. Okay. So so um, um, the thing that I have is I have more or less the same setup, mm. so I can open a song on the road mm. and it will sound the same as when I open it in the studio in, oh. in Norway. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but of course the the computer like the computer I have in Norway is like mm. uh, is a bit s stronger. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, faster so so of course some of the sessions are not easy to open on the laptop but oh, I yeah. try to be as compatible yeah. on the road yes. and in the studio there as possible. Uh, so that so means you you have a mobile studio wherever you as go well. Yeah, I, I have a mobile, a very good mobile studio. Okay. So uh, so there's a lot of qu equipment. I even have like I even brought my. S my speakers here. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like it's a lot of equipment to, to carry. Uh, okay. A lot of luggage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now let's talk about you coming here in Dar es Salaam. Yeah. Um, and uh, the popular journal here in, in, in Tanzania is Bongo Flavor. Yeah. Where and when did you hear uh, uh, about Bongo Flavor? Well, to be honest, um, you know, I I wasn't I I I was. More listening to South African music and 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 Nigerian music uh, first, you know when I, when I first tapped into the and also like uh, some of the the African dancehall okay. uh, and and some of the reggae as well. Uh, but um, I I started checking it out, especially with the, this is, this is how do you pronounce it? Boom 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 yeah. boom boom bam bam bam, bam, bam. <laughs> yeah, bam, bam. Diamond club. Ah yeah, that. Yeah, uh, okay. the, the, that the bum bum uh, track. Yeah. That was actually the one I was uh, in my playlist. You okay. know, when I was playing on, uh, and even when I was playing as out, a DJ, as right? a DJ as well. Okay, well. I was I was pl playing. Uh, that was like the the only bongo flavor song. Yeah. Um, because a lot of the problem with also with the bongo flavor music is you know the quality of the audio yeah. is not so good. Okay, you know. Okay. Um, you know, a problem that I find down here is like these artists down here. You know, they can they can spend maybe two hundred dollars on the audio, yes. and then they go to South Africa and they spend ten thousand US dollars on the video. Oh, maybe, yes. So, but but the thing is, you're still in the music industry, not in the movie industry. So, yeah, yeah. so mm. the most important thing is the audio, okay. and especially in in uh, in in Europe, you know, because you have to remember that you're competing with music. Especially there, mm. you're competing with music who, 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 who sounds perfect. Yes, you know, yes. these guys, they, 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 you know, they have their own engineers for mixing, their yes. own engineers for mastering, yeah. their own engineers for the vocals. You know, they even have this own guy who do the tube vocal tuning. You know, oh, there's, yeah. there, there's, there, it's so professional. Yes, yes. So, so I think that one of the most important things for Africa mm. and African, the African music industry is to get on that level. Mm. I think that bongo flavor or the bongo music is still a little bit behind on the technical side of making music. Yes. I think that uh, South uh, Africa mm -hmm. and Nigeria is a little bit High. yeah not not all the way as in, on the same level uh, as, as they're in trying. they're trying and, and, and I think they they, they 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 they're using a little bit more resources on it. Okay. So that that's one thing that I will try to do while I'm here as well is to try to when I work with this stuff I will try to raise the mm. level of the quality. Mm. Because my plan is, like I said, you know, I do recording here and and make some beats with the artists and 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 do stuff. And my plan is to bring it back to Norway, oh, okay. and then you know, mm. polish it in the studio there and yes. try to bring it up to a level which is the same as the music you hear from from uh, Europe or the United States. Wow, that's that's very interesting. So, um, how um, is your mission? going on right now do you uh find um have you find some well i'm still struggling with the, the concept of african <laughs> time okay uh, you know they 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 still you know things that you know when i first came here i i thought okay i will be there for around five weeks and that, that that will be enough but you know so i like i already passed that you know i already passed seven weeks and and the thing is things are going slow so i i realized i need i need more more, more time okay. but that's i'm used to it you know i i ever since i started even going to jamaica mm. uh I, I i you know i i realized that things move in a different pace say, you know so 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 uh you need to be more patient <laughs> yeah you know like because you know, like in in, in in Europe in the States, like time is money, and time yeah, is you know yeah, things are yeah. very. But here things are more like uh, Akuna Matata. Yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so um, I know uh, you know some of the biggest artists here. Uh, yeah. Some uh, people like Diamond, Alikiba, Vanessa, and other guys. Um, um, are you planning to do uh, music with these people? Or? Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. That's that. That's that's the that's the that's the main goal uh, to work uh, on. Like I, I work on. I, I try to do it on two different levels. Okay. I also try to work. Also, yeah, I try to work with the most established ones because, okay. mm -hmm. in many ways, they are the most easy to work with because they already have like. Um, uh, they already have a, a, a to call it like a team around them, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, so, and they also they are already established. So, especially when it comes to the, um, trying to make this popular outside of Africa, mm -hmm. it's easier because then you can show. Look at these guys; they already have like five million, ten million mm -hmm. streams, you yeah, know. So, yeah, yeah. you can already show that there, there, there's a lot of interest around the artist. But on the same, in the same, you know, in, in the same time, I always. I'm also trying to do some work with like uh, totally brand fresh, you know, talent. Just for work for the talent. Okay. So, so in one way, I'm just being very cynical and and look, okay, this is a big artist, so I should work with this artist. And then the on the <coughs> from different view, I also see, okay, this is a good talent. Mm. So I should work with this because this, this he he or her is a good talent. Okay. Okay. So. When you find these uh, uh, these talented artists and you want to work with them, mm. how are you going to work with them? Are you it's just go to another studio? Yeah, yeah. I, I work in different studios. Okay. So 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 uh, is is. Uh, there's a lot of studios around in Dar, yes, you know, and, yes. and and since I have my own setup, I can yes. just bring this setup to any oh, studio yeah, and, and yes. work. So mm -hmm. so so far, I've already been working like four different studios. Oh. So it's um, yeah. For example, I was in the studio in in uh, Temeke. Oh. Uh, it's a ghetto place, you know, yeah. the, say, the, the place where y Yamoto Ban. Oh yeah. Uh, Yamoto Ban is also some of the guys I'm going to work with. Oh, okay, uh, nice, yeah. nice. Uh, so I was there, and you know, there was a lot of. Talents, you know, mm -hmm. like young talents, like uh, you know, ghetto vibes, you know, yes, yes, yes. and and uh, of course they also I also done done some work with with on that level, and mm -hmm. I also have some plans on doing some further work. Okay. So uh, yeah, you know, it's important. You can't just come here and just say, ah, if you know the start, I'm not going to work with you. Uh, that's not a good um, mentality, you know, okay. or philosophy. So you need to, you know, if there's if you see good talent, you need to try to help it. Okay. So are there any rooms? left for other artists to if find you, if you and um, do music. Yeah, yeah, if you if you if you if you if you're good enough then 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 yeah. Mm. Uh, of course the the, the bar is is raised uh, <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. uh, all the time. So 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 of course you have to be really good because mm. also I have to say you know there is a lot of good talent in Tanzania. Okay. Uh, you know the only place where I actually seen this much talent mm. is is Jamaica. It's the same kind of thing. You know you have artists everywhere. You know, oh, yeah. like you go to you know you for example in my hotel you know so like, ah there's a guy oh you produce I'm an artist you know and then yeah. you you go and you go to Kilimanjaro hotel and you yeah. talk to the security yeah. like yeah I'm an artist yeah, yeah, yeah you're everyone an artist. sings yeah everyone yeah but they also have songs you know yes, one thing yes, is because yes. if you just sing but they've been to the studio and recorded yeah, yeah, yeah. which is good because it shows that. There's a lot of activity, even though it's not showing, you know, in 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 the big media. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of activity going underground, and and this is good f for the future, you yes, know. So yes, yes. if this just continues, and this is also one of the things that I'm trying to, I'm trying also to reach out to the to the government mm. uh, because it's from a political view it's very important also to stimulate mm. the industry because the music industry is very important, you mm. know. Yes. First of all, music is a you know, there's music is like hundred um, um, uh, percent profit. You know, mm -hmm. because you know, unless let's take for example oil and stuff. You know that you have to drill for the oil. Yes, you yes. have to have a lot of labor to pick it. You know, there's there's costs and mm -hmm. investments. But when it comes to 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 music, it's uh, except for the equipment, which is not that expensive. Mm -hmm. It's 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 uh, you know creative. Capital, you know, yes, yes, yes. intellectual property. Yeah. So, 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 you know, you, uh, somebody can sit in the, uh, with a computer in the room and create a song that you know can generate millions of dollars yes, yes, potentially. Yes. Very true.
So, so, so that's one part of it. Another part of it is that, let's say, for example, uh, Tanzania suddenly would get like a worldwide hit, mm. or a Tanzanian artist would get a worldwide hit. Mm. Then suddenly there will be a lot of focus on Tanzania, yes. right? Like Bob Marley in Jamaica, mm. right? Imagine how much he has done for for that country. Yes. So, so yeah. So even you know, for the tourism, you know, the culture, it, it's it's very beneficial. So it, I think it's smart of the politicians to to try to stimulate the music industry. So how are they going to find you? Well, you can um, always uh, add me on... Uh, first of all, I work a lot with, you know, um, uh, these different managers. Okay. Uh, so like, uh, uh, for example, Babu Tale. Mm. Uh, uh, Chambuso, mm. especially Chambuso is working with a lot of these, these young, young talents. Um, okay. But uh, I, I don't think I'm going to give my number here. Yeah, I know. I know. Social <laughs> but media. Social Dance. media, yeah. Jam, you can, uh, you can always hit me up on, because you guys like, uh, like um, Instagram yes, a lot. Yeah, yeah okay. so you, you hit me up on Jam Productions. Okay. Uh, there's J A M P R O C T. T I O N S. Okay. Jam Productions. Jam Productions. Yeah, straight. Okay. Jam like in Jamaica. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Carl. Carl. Carl Hohen. Hohen. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Yeah. Wish you all the best. Asante. Yeah.